Leaving Napton on the hill, we climbed through the flight of locks. Between bridges 116 and 117, there's the old engine house arm that once fed a pumping house that moved water up from Napton Bottom Lock. Winding our way south along the Oxford Canal, I moored up for a few days just west of the village of Prize Hardwick. The canal goes through some lovely countryside, west one minute and doubling back on itself east the next before passing the medieval village of Wormleyton to where the next mooring spot at Fenny Compton. In the last episode, I expressed how disappointed I was with the breeze block coping stones at lock nine in the Napton flight. The chamber wall needed to be completely rebuilt here, and after a bit of a delay, the new coping stones were delivered. However, Canal and River Trust rejected them as they didn't meet the engineering and heritage quality, and so the project's been deferred until later in the year. I'm pleased to say these breeze blocks are purely there for the summer season. One of the jobs I wanted to get done was to fit metal fair leads on the bow to avoid ropes rubbing. After positioning them and marking their holes, I drilled two small pilot holes. I've only ever used a tap and die set where you manually wind a cutter into metalwork. However, I have recently seen in action a drill and tap all in one, so thought I'd give them a go. The drill cuts the hole into the metal just like a normal HSS drill would, but then it tapers into a thread which taps the hole. I used a cutting lubricant to help the process. I reversed the drill once the tap had started to cut to remove any debris and re-drilled it again and job done. It's a lot easier than turning a handle and so much quicker. Once again I fitted window tape foam to the underside of the fair leads and fitted them in place. Note my reflection in the polished plating. South of Napton one narrowboat owner has created their own little mooring spot in the middle of a field. By the looks of the surrounding soil the boat's been craned out and of course I expect there's no need to pay for a canal and river trust license. Whilst enjoying the warmer days west of Priors Hardwick, the locals were taking part in a hunt and no, I saw no sign of any foxes. Now that I was getting used to a new way to tap holes, being watched over by the boss, I fitted the rear vents in the stern doors before moving south again. The weather heated up for a week or so and it was a real pleasure to be on this section of the canal. Next time I head down to Banbury, where I find the statue of the fine lady at Banbury Cross. Until next time, see you later. <laughs>